Hey, what is up guys? Today, um, this is Streety, and I'm gonna, this is my first tutorial on how to blur the background of this image. I'm sorry that the resolution is very good, but who cares? First, you need to get your pen tool out, uh, which is over here. Hold it if you don't see it, and then click pen tool. And now you're gonna select the part that you don't want to be, that doesn't want to be blurred now. Like, also select the part, like, a bit outside of it. Don't, like, select at like right at it so just a bit outside of it so I'm almost done okay now what you gotta do is right click make selection and then feather radius leave that to three it doesn't really matter and now select select inverse or you could also just do that so now that that's done you can go to filter blur and here are a lot of different blurs. I'm going to use Gaussian blur. And then you can like change the radius and stuff. Like that looks stupid. But like to make it look professional, do that. Cancel. And I'll go through all the different blurs right now. Filter, blur, average. You know, this is like a stupid blur. blur but And then filter, blur, blur. And that blurs it automatically for you, so filter, blur, box blur. Now uh, that gave you like a little cool effect over there. And yeah, well, the best blur is probably Gaussian blur, which would be right here. But I'm still gonna go with all of them. Yes, radius, playing with that everything cancel filter there's, there's just so much uh, motion blur is quite a good one if you're trying to make like it they're like moving like the camera is moving or whatever is moving that'd be good or to like focus in on an image but the best is Gaussian blur so blur Gaussian blur and let's pick a good one not so much just to focus it onto this person so there you go it, it, it would focus better but this isn't a high resolution image so. yeah it looks pretty good so that's get ready for my next tutorial later on um, thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe